Hey, it's me, MLB. Here's chapter 76 of Serendipity, and this one is titled Bun in the Oven. Her sudden question caught you off guard, and you instinctively placed a hand on your lower belly, giving yourself away in an instant. You are, aren't you? She gasped. Shh, you hushed her. I'm 10 weeks. We're waiting until I'm 12 weeks before I announce. She did a sucked in high pitched scream and bounced up and down a few times before running over and hugging you gently. You chuckled and gave her a hug back as she squealed excitedly in your ear. I'm so excited! Congratulations! How's Deku? Is he excited about being a dad? Oh, very, you chuckled. We're going to look at bassinets this afternoon. He's been talking non stop about baby stuff. She grinned. You two are going to be the best parents. Thanks, you chuckled. I have no idea what I'm in for, but I'm on this ride, so I'm going to be as plus ultra as possible. That's the spirit, she giggled. If you ever need any help with anything or need me to cover for you, just say the word. Her eyes sparkled brightly. I'll be sure to let you know, you replied with a smile. Later that day, you and Deku went to the baby store, looking at bassinets as planned, but it was starting to look like a much harder job than you anticipated. There are so many, you said with a slightly exasperated look on your face. This one rocks, vibrates, has the ability to record your heartbeat and play it back, has lights that imitate a car driving under street lights, has a built-in monitor to check Bub's heart rate while they sleep, can be warmed up or cooled down, easily machine washable cover, safety rating of 500, and comes in three colours, Deku said in amazement, reading the information panel. Wow, you said in awe. How much is it? Deku looked at the price and then gave you a look. Oh, yeah, I should have guessed, you said with a sweat-dropped look. And for a little more money, you can get a baby monitor with video, sound and infrared installed into the side of it. Infrared? What's infrared? What would we use the infrared for? You asked him. Uh, I don't know, he replied. You both stood there and stared at each other for a bit until the assistant walked over with a sly grin on her face. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Hero. Can I help you with anything? Oh, no, we're fine. We're just looking for a gift for my cousin's baby. You lied expertly. You had practiced that line before entering the shop, knowing that someone was going to come over and ask you what you were looking for and why. Oh, the assistant said, a little disappointed that she didn't have the exclusive of you being pregnant. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, could you please explain some of these bassinets? They all sound so complicated, you said to her. Oh, of course, she replied, launching into her well-rehearsed speech on each item. After a good 45 minutes, you and Deku finally picked one out and put it on lay-by to pick up at a later date, then left together. That was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be, you admitted to Deku. He smiled. But it's really fun. I didn't know bassinets and cots were so intricate, I have a lot to learn. You chuckled and gave him a hug in the taxi as you were driven home. That's very much like you, Izu. Always plus ultra. It was the following week that you had your 11 week scan to make sure everything was going well with Bub and you opted to have the gender reveal in the blood test, but you and Deku didn't want to find out just then. You'd have it revealed to you on the day of the baby shower. Bub was well and healthy and you were low risk for all the genetic conditions they tested for so you and Deku left the office with big smiles on your faces and a little gender reveal envelope in your hand. I'm so excited to find out what we're having, you said excitedly. I can't believe I have the card right here in my hand. You looked down at the little envelope and held it with both hands. We should talk about names, Deku said with a smile. Do you have any names you like? Um, well, I like a few. I've been keeping my ears open for any names beginning with K because you said you like that name, a name starting with that letter. Deku blushed and grabbed for his fringe and tugged on it nervously. Oh, you don't need to think of K, K names just for me. No, I really like the name starting with K, you replied with a smile. Like Kunoma for a boy or Kiruha for a girl. Oh, I, I really like Kiruha, but maybe just Kiru. Deku said with a soft smile. That sounds like a lovely girl's name. And do you like Kunoma for a boy's name? You asked. He pondered a little. Yes, it's nice, he said pleasantly. What if we put a ha on the end of the name instead of a ma? So, Kunoha. 
that's different. I like it. You replied happily, placing a hand on your still not very pregnant looking belly. It's unique. Deku smiled and you continued on home together. As the next week approached, you and Deku prepared to tell his mum and your parents the good news of you being pregnant before they found out on the news, and you got together the gifts for them as Deku got dressed to go. First was his mum, and she was so excited that you were both coming over for dinner. She didn't get to see her boy much, so this was a rare treat. Come in, come in, she called brightly as Deku announced that you had arrived. She came out from the kitchen, wiping her hands on her apron with a big smile on her face, greeting you both warmly. Please come in, she said again, ushering you both inside more. You chatted lightly as you walked down to the dining area, and she left you there briefly to bring the food out and put it on the table. After you had eaten, you all went to the lounge room to talk more, and that's when you handed her the small gift that you were hiding in your bag. Oh, what's this? she asked, reaching out to accept the gift. Open it, you encouraged excitedly, little butterflies flitting around in your stomach as you watched her accept it. Mrs. Midoriya opened the box and lifted the coffee cup out, turning it around to read what it said. Best grandma in the world, she read. And there is the end of chapter 76. Stay tuned for chapter 77 coming tomorrow.